Hey everybody, welcome back to Chit Chat and Tea with Amanda Marie. I hope everybody out there is having a good day. Um, I just wanted to share a quick recipe with you guys. This recipe is actually, it's for the crock pot. Um, you don't have to make it in the crock pot. You can certainly do it over the stove, but um, it's really quick. It's one of those ones that, you know, maybe you're having an off day and, and you just want to throw something together, whip it in the crock pot and set it and forget it kind of thing this is a good one because if you put it on high you'll be ready this will be ready within three hours um so you can start it a little bit later in the day and it's fine so i'm just gonna quickly go through it real quick with you guys um it is a quick and easy crock pot swedish meatball recipe so i already have I have a couple of, I know you really, that's like, you can't see that, okay, because it's black. But I have two cups of water in my crock pot right now. I am just going to pop in um, a bouillon, a beef bouillon cube in that, in the crock pot, okay. And if you are a vegetarian or, or, well, actually, that wouldn't make any sense because if you're a vegetarian, you're not going to be, well, there are vegetarian meatballs. Yes, there are. So, you know what? You could use um, vegetable bouillon and you could use vegetarian meatballs. Certainly could. So, you want to, I just threw um, two cups of water, one beef bouillon cube in there. Um, I'm going to do a dash of nutmeg. Just, you know, I eyeball stuff. I'm kind of infamous for that. So yeah, a little bit of nutmeg. We're going to put, we're going to do a cup of sour cream. Okay. Cup of sour cream. We're going to do um, two tablespoons of steak sauce. Wow, that's, that's uh, thicker than I remember. But two tablespoons, okay, steak sauce. Yeah, it's a rainy day here today, so good day for crock pot, crock pot weather. <laughs> um, one can of cream of mushroom soup. You, you just want to add this can in as it is, just like that. And again, like, this is, you can do this on the stove, doesn't have to be a crock pot. I'm adding a bag of, uh, you know, I'm having one of those days, guys, you know what I mean? A lot of times I, I cook from scratch, but we all have our days where we just stir. This is um, Lipton onion, you know, the onion, the onion soup mix, I'm adding that in. And again, like I said, this, I'm doing frozen meatballs. You can certainly make meatballs from scratch. I, I usually actually do, but I'm just gonna throw this bag. You can, this is a two pound bag of home style frozen meatballs. You just throw it all in there. That's what I love about crock pots. You just throw it all in there, mix it up. I'm gonna set this on high because um, I'm starting this a little later in the day. If I was starting this, if I threw this together like, you know, in the morning, you would want to put it on low and let it just cook all day. Of course, that's probably better because all the tastes go together better, but I'm going to throw this, set this to high, cover it, let it cook for three to five hours on low, and you're good to go. All right? All right, guys, this is the finished product for those Swedish meatballs. Um, they've been cooking on high. I made the mistake at the end of my last video. I said three to five hours on low. I meant on high. It's six to eight hours on low. So I've been cooking these on high for um, about two and a half hours, and they're done. They're ready to go. Like, we could eat these right now, and it'd be fine. 
Now these are frozen meatballs. If you make the meatballs yourself, um, you know, I suggest you cook them in the oven first and then pop them into the crock pot. If you're going to use the crock pot or the, on the stove, whatever. But anyway, this is the finished product and um, I'm going to make some egg noodles to go with it. And I'm also going to make some green beans to go with it. So it's a nice meal for dinner. And I hope you guys try it out and enjoy it. And uh, that's it. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Whatever it is for you. God bless.